Welcome to We Build It, We Break It. Today, Malia and I are gonna build an out of this world balloon diorama. Then, Sean and I are gonna turn it into an epic pop explosion. Did you guys know that balloons pop because the pressure in the balloon is so much higher than the pressure outside of the balloon? I don't think that sounds right. It's a fact. It doesn't have to sound right. I'm with Sean. I'm pretty sure balloons pop because they're mad about being poked. Yeah. I don't want to get sucked into this balloon drama, but Malia's right. We are builders after all. Get ready to witness a banana's best balloon blow up on We, we Build, build it, it, We Break, break it. it. I was thinking we could use the balloons to build a diorama of a house. I'm not sure a house is crazy enough for our balloon build. But what if we put a trampoline in the backyard? That's pretty crazy. Let's keep brainstorming. <gasps> what about if we made a... A pencil? Yeah, what's more exciting than a freshly sharpened point? <gasps> oh, what if we made... The St. Louis Arch! You mean the world's tallest arch? Yeah, and balloons are super light, so we can make the arch even taller than we are. Like eight feet tall? Yeah, this is perfect. I'm doing my state report on Missouri. And what better way to learn about something than to build it out of balloons? I'm gonna try that for my next project too. Let's get building. So we know they're using balloons, but what's the best way to take down a balloon? Oh. Wait, we could grow out our fingernails super long and then run up the balloons and pop them with that. Yeah, but while we're growing them, we'd have to walk around with weird super long fingernails. Good point, and that might look a little creepy, but I do like the popping idea. Yeah, we should definitely stick to the popping. Oh wait, I was just reading this book about the Middle Ages, and they were like the original breakers. They used catapults to launch giant metal balls of destruction. My dad uses this super long pokey wire to keep the dogs from crawling under the fence. <gasps> wait, we can add that on our balls so they can do the most popping damage possible. See? Yes, a homemade catapult with massive pointy wire balls. Now that's something the medieval guys and your dad would be proud of. What can I say? Building with balloons can be tough. So you have to make sure that they don't pop or float away. Which is why we have balloon construction expert Lisa here to help us out. Using a lot of balloons and a little bit of math, we're gonna nail this gateway arch. Come on, let's go get our supplies. All right, we got all of our materials. Now, how are we gonna give our gateway arch its iconic archy shape? It's gonna be 10 feet on either side. So this will be the bottom, and then why don't you guys go ahead and draw out half of it on either side. Cool. So when we're done, this part is gonna be about eight feet, and it's gonna be about 10 feet across here. Eight feet is even higher than I thought. All right, we'll just put it down right here. Perfect. This is gonna be the base of it. So this is the frame inside, and we'll just connect it together like this, and then we'll start loading balloons on it after we blow them up. What is this machine? Does it make balloons? Almost, it helps us blow them up so you don't have to do it by mouth. Whoa. That's awesome. So let me show you how it works. What it does is it blows up balloons two at a time, and it allows you to blow up the balloons at exactly the same size. Wow. Yeah. Lisa told us that we're going to need eight balloons per foot. And our arch is gonna be 20 feet long, which means we're gonna need 160 balloons? I bet it would take us two years to blow these up by hand. Okay, so this is how it works. Take them by the nozzles and put them over, and then there's a button right here. Hold your balloon so they don't fly off. Whoa! There's your two balloons. now. If you think about an arch, if you've ever seen one, they actually have four balloons per row. So we're gonna take these two and we're gonna twist it around and tie a knot. That's called a duplet, two, but we actually need four. So we're gonna make another one. Same thing, put it on, push the button. Whoa. Tie it again. Now watch this. We're gonna turn two into four. Take these two together. 
system. One, two, three, and now we have four. Are we gonna start at one end and work our way to the other end, we right? absolutely are. So you guys ready to give it a try? Yeah, let's do it. Pinch it so the air doesn't come out. <laughs> Now that we have some balloons inflated, let's start attaching them. I'll show you how. See how there's a hole between the balloons? We're gonna take that, put the pipe between two of the balloons, and then twist the balloons around the pole to lock them on. Oh! Awesome, you did it! All right, you guys ready to put up the arch? Yeah! yeah. All right, let's go. All right, ready? <laughs> oh, good job, you guys. You look under. I got it. It's in. Slide it down. Whoa! Looks like a cloudy day in St. Louis. It sure does. Hey, Lisa, can we hang this bird up too? Of course. It's so cute. I wonder what Sean and Caden have in store for our arch. Anything good? Yep. Is everybody ready? Ready! ready. Remove the wall! Whoa! That's awesome! Is that that big arc thingy? It's called the Gateway Arch. It's in St. Louis. Guess how many balloons we use? I'm not really that good at guesstimating. A hundred and sixty balloons! Yup! Your 160 balloons? will be a match for our pointy wire ball. I call this the Timmy 360 3000. Let's take a look. Whoa! Hey, 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 don't touch it. You need protection gloves. What are you gonna do with that pointy wire ball? Well, we're gonna fire it out of our homemade catapult. Awesome. Time to take down this arch medieval style. Oh yeah. Ready? Three, two, one, go! We just took a trip to Missouri with our one-of-a-kind 20-foot gateway arch. Wait, did we take a picture of the arch? No, why? I was gonna use it as extra credit for my state report. Why can't you just tell the teacher about the arch? Do you really think that my teacher's gonna believe we built a 20-foot replica of the gateway arch out of balloons and then destroyed it with a homemade catapult? Maybe not. Maybe you don't need extra credit. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time on We Build It, We Break It. What if we just rebuilt the Gateway Arch just super quick? No! no.